week's Drinks Undressed. This week we're going to be looking at one of those cringeworthy classics, the Pina Colada. Although I gotta say, made right, it can be a really good drink. The problem is it tends to just be in a blender, big and fluffy, no alcohol strength at all. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna take the basic flavors of the Pina Colada, the coconut, the pineapple, the lime, and the rum, and I'm gonna show you a really easy way to make this at home cheaply, quickly, and, uh, and hopefully a little bit, of, little bit better. I'm gonna take a frying pan, and we're going to basically make a nice homemade uh, coconut rum. So we've got sweetened shaved coconut. I'm going to go quite heavy on this. We're going to do about five tablespoons of sweetened coconut. There's two reasons why I've gone for a sweetened one. One is because once you're going to, you're going to see how this toasts up really beautifully, all the sugar kind of caramelizes. So when uh, we heat that up, it's going to give us a nice toasted caramel flavor. So it's going to add some nice color. So you just want to keep it moving. You want it to really take on color, but without burning it. Yeah, it smells amazing. Does it? Yeah. There it goes, look at that. The smell from this stuff is absolutely amazing. Your neighbors will be knocking at your door. I'm surprised ours aren't, they must all be at work. All right, because that smell is just mesmerizing. We want to get this as golden brown as we can without getting any black on it. As near as you dare before they go black. <laughs> Here we go. It's about as brave as I'm going to be today. You know, this drink tends to be one that you want a little bit on the sweet side. You can try not to make as much of a mess as me. I'm sure Rocket will clean that up in a little bit. We're just going to use a nice gold rum there. Straight on there. Oh, you hear it hissing. <laughs> so it cools it down. That is going to form the basis for our wonderful, very, very rich toasted coconut rum. And what I also like to do, that's why I saved a little extra bit here, I like to throw in a little bit of the untoasted as well, just to give us a kind of whole spectrum of coconut flavor. When this coconut rum is ready, it is gonna be absolutely stunning. So, 24 hours later, ta-da! We have our beautiful toasted coconut rum. Look at the color on that as well, you can actually see straight away the amount of colour that is taken on by that coconut. Gonna add a little bit of lime juice. One whole lime. Easy as that. About two ounces of our, oh my god, the smell. So beautiful. Oh my god, the coconut is amazing. And then what I've got here as well, uh, I've got a pure, um, not from concentrate, pineapple juice. It's important not to use the concentrate ones. You're gonna find that this is gonna give you such a nice, rich flavor. And then we're gonna throw in, just because we've got a whole lime in there, we're gonna throw in a little bit more sugar. So I'm gonna drink, so we'll do one and a half teaspoons of uh, powdered sugar there. And then we're gonna ice our homemade shaker. I thought Rocket would be awake for this one. He's, uh, he's a bit of a sucker for the tropical drinks, aren't you, Rox? Yeah, no? You're not talking to me today. All right, give that a really good shake because what you'll find with pineapple juice, which is generally really nice, is that it foams up lovely. A little bit like when you use egg whites, the pineapple juice foams up really, really well. The method that I like to use at home for my pina colada really gives you something that's like, it's, it, it takes away the cringeworthiness of the pina colada itself because you've not got some kind of heavily processed coconut syrup. Yeah. You've not used a blender. You know, you're using a very fresh pineapple juice. It's not full of sugar. It's got a nice, strong, rummy taste. Could have done with a bigger glass, actually. All the foam's left in there, but here we go. And then a nice little garnish on here as well. So we'll pop a little wheel on the side. Don't know, what do you reckon, Rocket? Nice little, nice little orange zest. Squeeze those juices across there. That, mate. And we'll just grab a couple of these lovely little pineapple stalks just to give you that real tropical island feel. And a couple of straws for good luck. Look at that. Look at that little beauty. There you have it. Justin's special drinks undressed pina colada. No blender needed. Homemade coconut rum. The tropical birds are singing. Cringeworthy drink, pina colada. Curveball here. Zzz, buzzed up, uh, toast up. Beautiful garnish. Dazzle your friends with that, with that tropical look.